Okay, so as I mentioned in a previous video, I'm going to take a little tangent here and talk about degrees of freedom, or DOF, as it will be referred to in um, in MicroStation. You may have noticed already, from time to time, as you are applying geometric constraints to constructions or to graphics, a message coming up after the operation at the bottom of the screen here saying, saying DOF equals 1 or DOF equals 2 or any, any random number. Well, it's not quite random, but that's the message you might have seen. And that refer refers to the amount of degrees of freedom that are left in a solution. So when there's no freedom left in a solution, it will report DOF equals 0, and that then that solution will be fully defined. Let's explain and, and examine what I'm talking about. One way to check the degrees of freedom in a solution is to use this icon here, Resolve Constraints, and then highlight any part of a solution and accept, and you'll get a report down here, DOF equals 2. So it's not obviously not fully defined, it's got some freedom left into it. Same for the, the line and the circle. Now in order to remove degrees of freedom, I've added the three basic types of, constru of constructions here, the point, the line, and the circle. I'm just going to apply some more of these geometric constraints to them. I'm going to go to this geometric constraint I skipped over before called fixed point. And what this does is it gives a point a definitive location in the XY coordinates of the design file. So let's fix that point. Select the point here and accept. And if we go in, we can see our new geometric constraint. This double double head um double directional arrow. on the point and let's evaluate that and you can see DOF equals zero so both degrees of freedom have been removed because that point is now fixed similar to the way we fixed the direction of a line we just fixed the location of that point let's fix the direction of a line here and we see the reported DOF equals one if I undo that and evaluate we see DOF equals two so let's fix it again and go to DOF equals 1. So there's one degree of freedom left. And just to show that, I can modify and resolve this element. And while the direction isn't changing, the location is. So if we give this line a location, then that should remove that last DOF. And let's just do that. How would we fix a point of a line that doesn't have any points on it? Well, we just add a point to it and then give that a fixed location. So let's constrain a point on the line and then use this fix point again on that point accept and now if we evaluate we can see DOF equals zero so there are zero de degrees of freedom and if I go to modify the construction nothing's happening nothing moved because that line is well defined now curiously I can modify the fixed location and that modifies the solution for me which is very convenient in in bigger solutions which I'll get on to later and if we just quickly go through the circle do an evaluate and we get 3 DOF DOF equals 3 so let's fix a point and I'm going to fix the center here you can see that there let's do another evaluate and DOF is equal to 1 now because the x and y location of the center of that circle has been fixed and in order to fix a point on the outside of the circle let's add a point on and let's fix that point and now DOF equals zero So now you can see the degrees of freedom being brought to zero by using this fixed point constraint. So let's move on to, let's just note that one, um, fixed point constraint. 
repaint. And let's add in constraint constant. But you move on to next. Okay. So this is our last one here that I skipped over as well at the very beginning. Constraint constant. And what this will do, let's just copy down these these elements here. I'm going to use the clipboard here. This is a, an interesting one. If you use the clipboard when copying a dimension driven solution, the solution remains intact. However, if you use ordinary microstation copy, the, the the solution doesn't remain intact. So when when copying a dimension driven solution, use the clipboard. The edit, copy or control C and control V. So let's just evaluate these again. Make sure they're all intact. DOFs equals zero, okay. They're they're intact. I'm going to delete these geometric constraints. Very careful with this one. I'm going to evaluate them again. DOF equals three, DOF equals two, and DOF equals two. And now let's look at the constant constraint. Now what the constant constraint does is it locks every degree of freedom available to that element, or to that construction, I should say. So if I apply that to the circle, and do an evaluate, you can see immediately DOF equals zero. So there are no degrees of freedom left, and we get this new um, geometric constraint called lock. And that's instead of having our little blue arrows or ticks or squares, that's how that one is drawn. It's drawn with the word lock in square brackets. And I can apply that to the line or to the point. And it locks all degrees of freedom. So not very practical or they don't appear to be very useful either the fixed paint fixed point constraint or the constraint constant. But they are an essential part to a dimension driven solution and we'll come to some practical examples later which will help explain them a whole lot better. So that's degrees of freedom and that's our last two geometric constraints.